Hey everyone, we're getting into the warmer summer months, which means great weather and a lot of fun outdoor activities. But if you're like myself and you truck camp underneath the soft topper, then it also means that that canvas can get extremely hot. So I had to come up with a solution to get some airflow and also keep the bugs out. What I came up with was this mesh bug screen that I put together using magnets to make it easy to install and remove. And if you're curious about how I did that, then stick around because I'm about to show you. So we'll start with the materials that I used. I'll link all these items down in the description below so you can see exactly what I used. But this is very cheap, easy, straightforward. It cost me less than $25 to put this all together. To start off, this is just a cheap mosquito netting. This is a pretty big piece. I definitely didn't use all of this, but it left me with quite a bit of leftover in case I need to redo anything. Next up is the magnets. They don't need to be too crazy, but you do want them to be strong enough to attach to the metal. I got a big pack of these. I think it was 32 magnets that it came with on Amazon, so it left me with quite a bit of extra. Now you need something to stick the magnets to. It obviously isn't gonna stick to the canvas or the aluminum frame. So I came up with these little metal tags that have the 3M sticky on the back. These are designed to go on the back of cell phones to hold magnets and stuff to the back of your phone, but it ended up working really well for this project. This one came in quite a big pack too, so that left me with quite a few extras. Now originally the 3M backing on the back of those little metal plates stuck really well to the canvas, but I took this on a camping trip last weekend to give it a, a test run before I put this video together. And when it got really hot, the stickiness on the back of those little metal plates started coming off of the canvas. So what I had to do was get this Gorilla Glue and put a little bit of this on the back of each of those metal plates to get it to stick to the canvas. I was a little bit worried about maybe the super glue damaging the canvas, but just put a small dab on the back of those little metal plates and it doesn't do any harm to the canvas and you don't see any residue or anything come off the back of that. Now the easiest thing to do is just get a big piece of cardboard and make a template so that you can cut the mosquito netting to the exact dimensions uh, so that's equal and even on both sides. If you do the exact dimensions that I did, then it came out pretty good. I'll show you that in the truck in just a minute. It's basically 19 and a half inches tall, 30 and a half inches long across the bottom, 17 inches across the top, and then this angled portion was 24 inches. All that I did was take a little piece of adhesive tape and put that on all the corners laid out the mosquito netting off there, and then just cut, took scissors, some nice sharp scissors, and cut exactly around the template. Now after you use your template to cut that mosquito netting, uh, I accounted for roughly an inch of space all the way around the net so that you have room that you can fold over the net and sew the magnets into place. I basically just stuck the magnets kind of where I thought I would want them, put a little dab of hot glue, uh, to hold them in place temporarily and then that left enough room where we could fold that over and then sew this into place all the way around. I ended up doing two magnets on the top just kind of in the corners, a magnet on each side kind of down in the middle and then ended up doing five magnets on the bottom because that's where it was hardest to get a good seal. Now doing it this way was actually pretty nice and this this gives a perfect seal once you get this placed in the truck. Now at this point I have to give a huge shout out to my mother-in-law Julie because I am not a seamstress. I do not know how to sew. So she helped me out big time at this point. Uh, I cut the template, kind of glued the magnets in the place where I thought I would want them and then she took over and sewed all the way around and made that nice seam to hold the magnets in place. I will note that she said it was one of the harder things that she's had to sew, so I really do appreciate her going through that for me. She started off trying to use a sewing machine and the magnets just kept sticking to everything. So it kind of made it a little difficult. So she ended up sewing it all by hand, but I think it looks great. So thanks, Julie. I owe you one. So the finished product just kind of looks like this. Nothing too fancy, but let's go install it in the truck and we'll show you what it looks like. Now you can see the little metal plates that I ended up putting in here. I kind of placed them strategically vertical like this on the sides and then horizontal in the front so that when that folds forward um, it'll fold with the folds of the canvas. I folded it a few times with these metal plates on here and they've held up really well. Once you put that super glue on there they're really not coming off and if you're having a hard time getting the magnets to stick to these if you double up those pieces put a, put a metal piece on top of the other one then it gives an, a much stronger hold. To install this is pretty straightforward. This is the most important piece right here. So I actually took a magnet, one of the extra magnets that I had, and I stuffed that down in this Velcro pocket that's up in the front there to give a nice hold on that front one. And you want to take this so 
So you basically just start attaching these onto your metal points there. So on the inside of the canvas, all that I had to do was super glue one, two, and three pieces of that metal. 3M adhesive works really well on the aluminum. It was just the canvas that I was having a hard time getting to stick, so that's why I did the super glue on there. Now I decided to do it this way mainly because if you use Velcro around this mesh mosquito netting, it just tears it up. It catches the little fibers and gives you little pulls all the way through it. Sometimes if you're not careful, the Velcro of the soft topper can grab onto that and it'll kind of tear it up. So you just have to be careful with that. So that's kind of what it looks like from the interior. I just have those three metal points and then the one big magnet up there in that pocket. Let's go look from the outside. From the outside, you can see that it gives you a nice, really good seal. There's nowhere that really bugs are gonna get into there. Now, I decided to only do it with this front flap rolled up, but you could extend this further along the side if you wanted to. But just having this front two buttons undone and rolled up gives me more than enough airflow back there. For the outside, these metal pieces, uh, you can see I kind of stuck one right in there on that paint, and that holds that front one down there on the inside of the bed of the truck. And then I kind of just spaced these out. I went with these smaller metal pieces because they fit perfect size there to fit on the side of that aluminum without sticking up or catching on anything. So that just kind of rests right there. The 3M adhesive sticks really well to the aluminum frame. So you don't have any problem or you don't have to use a super glue getting those to stick. And I basically just spaced those out. This front one kind of goes over that button so that you can close that. I leave this in place when I drive. Just kind of pull that net up away from the button so that I can snap that back down there as well. And then when I get to the campsite, I just pop that up, roll this up, And boom, we're in business, ready to go. You just have to pull that spot really down there in the front to make sure that you have a good grab there after you've been driving. That was the only spot that I noticed that popped up. But I think that gives you a really good seal all the way around. You can see that there's not really any gap or anything that would allow bugs to get in there. Especially if there's a breeze, you get a really nice cross flow through the back of there. Doing this was an absolute game changer for my last camping trip. If you're summer truck camping in a soft topper, I highly recommend doing this. It's very simple, the materials are cheap. The hardest part is just sewing that. If you know somebody in your family that sews, I highly recommend letting them do that because it saved me a lot of time and frustration. If you're having a hard time with the sewing, I think you could also just fold that over and glue those magnets into place and, and come up with something like that. Or I even thought about using maybe even a staple or something to hold that into place there. Like I said, I did the magnets and the little pieces of metal because I thought they were easy um, and they weren't gonna damage that mosquito netting. I think you could put something together with Velcro. Um, you just would have to be super careful that it wouldn't catch and grab fibers of that mosquito netting. It can be 20 degrees hotter underneath that canvas than the outside temperature just because that black canvas absorbs all that heat. But I'm really happy with this setup. It's worked awesome. I was really happy with it on the last camping trip and it made the world of difference. Now, I mainly camp in Utah and Idaho, so this works really well for me because I'm not really in a humid climate. If you're somewhere that has a really humid climate, I honestly, I, I don't know how much this will benefit you. For me, as long as it cools down at night, then this is awesome. So for the climate and the area that I'm in, this is gonna be more than enough to camp comfortably all summer long. Now, soft topper sells a mesh rear window, and if you're just solely camping underneath the soft topper, that's something that you might wanna look into. When I camp, I have the deck tent extension that comes off the back, and it has a mesh bug screen in the back. So having those two side flaps with that rear mesh flap off the tent extension was perfect for me. It really cooled it down. I have a little fan that I stick in there to keep airflow going and it was much nicer. It makes taking that afternoon nap while you're out camping much more comfortable. If there's any questions about the materials or if I didn't explain something well enough, let me know down in the comments. So I hope that's helpful for somebody. If you found this video beneficial, then you know what to do. And if you wanna see more camping, fishing, truck camping, content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the support. We'll see you next time.